Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a crash command in Roblox Studio. So basically if you were to type in chat.crash in the player's username, they would instantly crash and uh, it's kind of like a troll thing, but mm, it, let's just make it. It's actually actually a really easy thing to do. Okay, it only requires two scripts and one remote event, so uh, let's get started. So first we're gonna uh, insert a script into server script service and we're gonna call this crash script, okay? So we're gonna do game.players, okay? Dot player added connect connect function player. Okay, so now we're gonna have to see uh, if the owner if it's the owner of the game. So if player dot name equals equals to w underscore blue, aka you change this to the owner of the game. Okay, so then player dot chatted connect connect function msg aka message. Okay, so look. So now we're gonna do if string dot find message comma dot crash. So dot will be the prefix. I mean, like yeah. So dot crash. So basically, searching for dot crash in the message that the player did. So if it is, then uh, local split message equals to string dot split uh, message so uh, message and then the separator will be a space so basically let's say uh, you typed uh, let's say uh, you typed uh, like uh, dot crash someone so it will split the string uh, with the space so dot crash will be the first thing and then uh, someone the player's username will be the second thing, okay? So, uh, we're gonna do if game.players find first child split message uh, uh, straight brackets two. so the second part of it then, so basically like the first part is dot crash and the second part is the player name, so then uh, so now we're gonna insert a remote event into uh, replicator, so we're gonna call this crash client then we're gonna do game dot replicate storage dot crash client. No, no, not replicate first. That's storage. Not crash client. Fire client. And then we're just gonna copy this. Okay, the player. And yeah. So now we're gonna insert one more script into starter GUI. Okay. We're gonna call this a uh, crash. Okay. So we're gonna do. Game dot replicate storage dot crash no not replicate first storage dot crash client dot on client event connect no not once connect function okay and all we're gonna do is do while true do local part equals to instance dot new part comma workspace so basically while to do there's no way once it was do infinitely right I will just keep spawning parts in the workspace and since this local script will only happen to that player and we'll just keep doing it and uh, it's gonna crash okay so uh, let's see if this works so I'm gonna publish the game uh, as a we're just like do crash test and uh, let's see if it works okay guys so we are in the crash thing okay so uh so let's say if I do dot crash it not it's not gonna happen because uh they're not in the game, okay? But let's do dot crash w underscore blue. Okay, as soon as I do this, it's gonna fire to the client and uh all the parts will instantly spawn. You won't be able to see it, you're just gonna crash. Okay, I press enter. I'm pressing my space key. I'm just completely frozen. <laughs> And if someone is in full screen, okay, uh, oh, I can't even go into full screen. Yeah, I just completely crashed, uh, and the entire thing went out, okay? <laughs> it, it, it just closed. So, uh, as you can see, it worked. So, guys, I'm not going to upload this as a model since I might get, like, banned for it. You know how Roblox is with their moderation, with their trolling crap, and then you can get permanently banned for it. I'm not going to risk that, so I'll just put the scripts and directions in the description. And, uh, so, uh, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!